welcome back in this video we are creating our first project which is a simple blog website using HTML by doing so you will be able to put into practice the concepts and skills that you have learned in previous videos and at the end of this video we are going to complete this simple website and now download the starting files from the videos description so you can follow along and after that open your vs code so we can start creating our website right now we have this index.html file and this image folder in which we have our images and in this video we are going to build our website from scratch in this index.html first we will need our boilerplate so we can create our html structure in order to do this just hold shift then press exclamation mark and then here we have our emmet abbreviation and we can use this just by clicking here now first of all we need to change our title in our case the title of our website is the basic html website this is our site title after that in our body element we are going to start building our website and in this body element first we need is the header element and this header element is a container for our navigational links and in this header element the first element that we need is the heading element where we can place the heading of our web page so our heading is the html blog and after that we need to create a menu for our web page so we can navigate from one page to the other so for our navigational links we need a container element which is nav and in this container element we will use our links so we can navigate from one page to the other so as you know we can write our link element using a tag and then here we will use href attribute to specify the path of our page and as you can see here we don't have any other page instead of this index.html so for now i am just going to use this hash symbol and when i will create more pages and i will add the path of those pages in this href attribute so after entering my href attribute i will close this tag and in here we are going to enter the name of our link so i will name this link home so here you can see our first hyperlink on our web page and like this i am going to create three more links so if we want to copy this line of code we just need to place our cursor here and then on our keyboard we have to press ctrl plus d to create more links and now i am going to change the name of my links this one is blog and then i have one more link which is for my about page and after that i have this contact us page so this is our first container and in this container we have this heading element and this small menu bar in which we have our four links first is to navigate to our home page then we have this second link which we will use to navigate to our blog page and after that we have another page which is about and then we have this contact us page and now i am going to use article element and this article tag specified independent self-contained content an article should make sense on its own and it should be possible to distribute it independently from the rest of the site now in this article element i am going to use this header element in which we have this h2 element and as you know we use h2 element to create our heading now for this section our heading is the basic language of the web html and after that i am going to use an image and in here i am going to use source attribute and then in this attribute we need to specify the path of our image so the path of this image is slash image then one more slash then this profile dot jpg and after that i am going to use alt attribute to specify the alternative text and this alternative text will show in case if our image will not load in the browser for any reasons and after that i am going to use width attribute to reduce the width of our image and that's it after that we are going to close this tag and after that image element i am using this paragraph element and now i am going to use
choose a paragraph outside of this header element in this article container and for this paragraph i just copy and pasted the content of this and after this we have one more paragraph and then i am going to enter h3 heading in which we have this content what is html and after that heading element i just enter three more paragraph and after these three paragraph i am going to use ol element and now i created this order list and in this we have three list element and as you can see our order list is represented by these numbers one two and three and after this list element using this paragraph element and in which i am going to write you can learn html more and then i am going to use a hyperlink for mdn website and to create this hyperlink which you can see here on the screen just use a tag then href attribute and in this href attribute i am using the link of mdn website and here i am using another attribute which is target is equal to underscore blank and we use this target attribute to open this link for example when a user click on this link and he will be redirected to this website this website will open in a new window now after creating this hyperlink i just added two more elements one is to create this heading and the other one is to create this paragraph for this heading now after creating these two elements i just created this unuttered list now in this ul tag we have these list elements as you can see here now the last element is also a paragraph element and this is the content of our paragraph and this is it for this article element now i am going to create one more container in which we have different elements and now i am using this aside element and in this aside element i use this heading then i use this unordered list to create this list and in this unordered list we have three items and each item contain an image element and a hyperlink and a paragraph now at the end of our website we want to create the footer and we can create footer by using this footer element and here i am going to paste the content of our footer element and that's it this is the main page of our website now if we want to include more pages on our website we just need to create all these pages for these links right here to create more pages just right click then click on new file and then here i am going to create my blog page you can just name it blog then dot then html and i just created the html boilerplate and i am just writing here that this is our blog page so this is how we can create more pages for our website and now i am going to enter the path of our blog page in this link element so our path is slash blog dot html and now if we click this hyperlink we will be redirected to our blog page and now if you want to create more pages like about or contact us page then just create these files here and enter the path of these file in this href attribute and this is how we can create multiple pages for our website and then we can style each of these pages separately by using css and now we successfully created our blog website and this is it for today's video thanks for watching if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to join this exciting web development journey with us until next time keep coding and keep creating and i will see you in the next video